1900, uh, George Edward Seibon Venner. So anyway, if you're a Seibon Venner, I, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably a descendant of Dr. Charles Morton. Okay, so uh, then we get a John, it's a pretty unique name. <laughs> You know, it, it, the, the name would have been amended to just have the last name Venner or Sidebottom Venner uh, by Act of Parliament, and I doubt it would have been that way before. Now, uh, Mary Danzig, John Freeman, had a son named John Freeman. He married Constantia Onslow, and uh, she was the daughter of Richard Francis Onlo, Onslow and Harriet Mary Foley. And they had five children, John Arthur Freeman, Mary Harriet, Constantia, Cecilia, and Elizabeth. Some I have exact birth dates for. Uh, one of them died in the Crimean War in 1854. That was John Arthur Freeman, so yes, he died without issue. Mary Harriet uh, married Arthur Child, and then he ended up amending his name to add Freeman to the last name. I guess he adopted the, the Freeman arm, so if you, ever, if you have a last name of Child slash Freeman, you probably are a descendant of Dr. Charles Morton also. And they had eight children, and my God, and then, you know, then it keeps going and going. So here, you know, I've gotten pretty well here. I mean, it just explodes from one daughter to a very large list of descendants um, go up here Anne Freeman I think we discussed she, he, she married a side bottom and then Mary Freeman married a man with the last name St. John and let's see there's a Harris Fleming St. John yes and he had a very large family she married a Gertrude Margaret Ann Ward uh, most of these people were born within 20 years of the new century there's a Mary Fleming St. John, there is a Oliver Stuckley Fleming St. John. I don't know if I go any further on these, because this is just getting huge. St. Andrew, one of them I know had some kind of record of going to college. There's a Charles Edward St. John, so I don't know anything further about that. Then, um... Elizabeth Freeman married a James Plunkett, but I don't know what happened to them. I didn't see uh, Elizabeth Plunkett in the 1841 census, and I've got a death record of him. So, they, you know, they, the Plunkets may be descendants of some Plunkett. If you have Plunkett, you may be a son of Charles Morton, but you got to work your way back to James Plunkett and Elizabeth Freeman to get anywhere with it, I guess. Okay, that's just the Freemans. Now, uh, let's get back to James Elizabeth Danzy. Uh, so I've gone into Mary Danzy. James Henry Danzy ended up dying before Dr. Charles Morton died. Two years prior to that, a uh, single man, no children. There was, an, uh, there was a newspaper. There was a notice in one of the um, newspaper-like <laughs> distributions at the time, something like the Gentleman's Magazine or Annual Register, and it mentions that he had a grandfather named James that was also a surgeon. And uh, so I don't know if that was a misprint or if in fact that both James Danzy, this James Henry Danzy's grandfather and Dr. Charles Morton both worked at the Foundling Hospital. Thus maybe helping the introduction along between Elizabeth Morton and James Danzy, if you catch my drift. Now, Elizabeth Danzy, the fourth child, married a Richard Barnaby, and they are also in the peerage, in the earlier ones. There was four children by that union. One was a Richard Barnaby, and Richard Barnaby, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he, do, he may have died without issue. I'm not sure. Thomas Barnaby, I thought I had gone further down this tree. Now, I think that maybe the two sons died out, but the Mary Barnaby married a William Barnaby, so he didn't have to drop, he didn't have to change his last name. He may have had to drop his arms if he's going to inherit something. And they had two children, a Mary Barnaby and a William Barnaby. The Mary Barnaby, I don't know what happened, but the William Barnaby married a Catherine Ann Sclatter. She died in 22. He died in 1900. 
And we've got four children here, Philip Bartholomew, Barnaby, you know, we've got Mary 1905, we've got all of Charlotte Barnaby, the died in 43. Uh, then we got Hen uh, William Theodore that married, and, you know, so there's a couple Barnabys here. It goes, yeah, there's a marriage date in 44. That's not too too far away, you know, so. Okay. Um, Mary Barnaby, I don't know if she died out. Let's go back up. And then the last one was Elizabeth. No, I'm going back up here. Flora, okay, and then we get back to Flora. Flora died young and had you know, this monument, also died before Dr. Charles Morton's death. Now, um, inside of Dr. Um, Charles Morton's will, he mentions both Elizabeth and Mary, but they, I think, had already married. I'm not sure. No, he named Mary Danzy, but she didn't marry until after. No, she was married before he died to John Freeman. And Elizabeth Danzy was married to Richard Barnaby before. So she, he, he, married his, he mentioned his daughters by their, by their last names at that time. Dr. Charles Morton did. And, of course, Lionel died out. Okay, so now let's get to the other child. I've already discussed um, whether, you know, I thought whether he was actually a natural child or not. Um, but nonetheless, assuming he is a natural child of Dr. Charles Morton, uh, th this is how Dr. Charles Morton's descendants um, sort themselves out from uh, Charles Kerr Morton, or named as Charles Carr. You know, I, I still find it odd, even as well as my son Charles Carr. So, um, Nonetheless, okay, so let's go back to this. Let's start with Charles Carr. Now, I, I will say that where I rely on the peerage and scattered records to make my way down to closer to modern times, for Elizabeth Morton's children, I'm far more expert on the descendants of Charles Carr Morton, Carr or Kerr, I guess, I don't know if that's a misprint or what they have there, but anyway, I'm going to change it to Carr right now. Now, I again have estimated his birth date as 1770. Um, okay, so now we're getting to some of the neater stuff. And uh, maybe I'll stop here so I can have a nice place to divide and, and then start my next 